Nearly half of the people living in the United States illegally didn't just cross the border. They came legally with a visa and then never left. And last year, most came from Canada. It leads the list of the Pew Research Center's top five countries of origins for visa overstays by a long shot. The U.S. is followed by Mexico, Brazil, Germany, and Italy. KXAN's Phil Prazen takes a closer look at a proposed law from a Texas congressman to tackle that issue. This morning, our committee. Congressman Michael McCall crossed the first major hurdle, passing his Border Security for America Act through committee. It would pay $5 billion to upgrade port security, including a biometric system, scanning people with visas when they enter the country and when they leave. Something the 9 11 Commission recommended many years ago that was never fulfilled. The system would tell immigration agents who is still in the country and where they should be. The Center for Migration Studies predicts 475,000 people overstayed visas in Texas alone. Immigration attorney Kate Lincoln Goldfinch says most people linger illegally because they get married to a citizen or are in the process of becoming a permanent resident. But she worries McCall's proposal could clog up airports and lead to less tourism. The thought of increasing the delay or the processing time for people who, you know, don't have a criminal history, they're coming here to visit Disney World and spend a lot of money in our economy. But this system is one of the least controversial measures in this bill. It also includes $10 billion for tactical infrastructure, including the border wall. Phil Prazen, KXAN News. The Border Security for America Act must still pass the full House and then the Senate and then be signed by the president. If it does, it would require the biometric entry exit system to be up and running in two years for the 15 busiest land, sea and airports in the country. In Texas, that includes the Dallas-Fort Worth and Houston airports, the seaports of Beaumont, Corpus Christi, Houston, and Texas City, and the land ports of Brownsville, El Paso, Hidalgo, and Laredo. The act requires the system to be in place at all land and seaports nationwide in five years.